Hello everybody, welcome, welcome to today's video. Um, so this is gonna be a late 2019 New Year celebration video because I do not have internet at all. It's fucking dead and it sucks and I hate it. Uh, we went to celebrate Christmas on the 20th. Uh, we went up to our cabin up in northern Sweden and I have not had internet ever since because when we came home the 25th, because we celebrate Christmas on the 24th here in Sweden. When we came home the 25th, the internet worked for about a day, then it stopped working, and I haven't had internet ever since. But hopefully this video is not gonna be super late, cause while I've had this period without internet, I've been working quite hard on videos, because I've had nothing else to do, cause I can't really play games with my friends and stuff, and I don't really play games alone that much. I have a few videos lined up, ready to release, which will hopefully release relatively soon, so you have that to look forward to. Uh, but yeah, this video is about my 2019 and how my personal year has gone, as well as my online side of things. Because I did this back in like 2015, and I thought it would be a fun thing to do again. So hopefully you're ready for 2020, uh, whatever challenges that year will have and what changes will happen. I know COPPA will happen, but I think I'm pretty safe due to me being such a small content creator. I'm personally quite excited for 2020, for reasons I'll get into in this video. But yeah, without further ado, let's get into how my 2020 has been. So, starting off in January, I already had some plans for the year. I had already like signed up to a thing called an inspiration course due to me being like I was very in January I was probably the most like depressed and like sad that I've been all year so my motivation was really really low pretty much bottom of the barrel and I didn't really have a drive forward and I, fe I, I felt very purposeless like I didn't really have a purpose. I'm pretty much in the same boat still, but I'm a lot more positive in my mental state. But yeah, the inspiration course started the 21st of January. My mindset pretty much going into this was, I'm not gonna talk to anybody, I'm gonna be silent for three months, I'm not gonna make any friends, I'm gonna get out of here, and nothing's gonna change. But holy shit, how wrong can you be? <laughs> because the mentors there, they really, really recommended you to stay at least three weeks, which I agreed on, and then I was gonna quit. And on week three, I had I noticed that this girl, because we were sitting in like an old school, uh, and I noticed this girl was like looking at me across the classroom, because uh, I could see in the corner of my eye, these two eyes like looking straight at me. And after a few weeks, I could pinpoint like, oh, it's this person. And, of course, you know, it being a girl, I thought like, does she like me or is there something wrong? And on week three, uh, we had like a talking group project and I was sitting with a bunch of people that pretty much didn't know Swedish or English for that matter, so it was gonna be really hard to communicate, so I was really, really not excited for this uh, project. And I saw this girl walk outside of the classroom with her group. And I remember thinking like, damn, I kind of wish I was with them. And then like a fucking garden angel from the sky, I hear my name from the door. I look over and it's the girl. Uh, she's asking me if I want to join their group, which I was hella down for. And it became a group consisting of me, that girl and two other guys. And surprisingly, one of those guys was a guy that I used to go in school with at a very early age. Like, he went to my class and everything, and we even used to, like, hang out uh, when we were younger, which was pretty cool, uh, getting to know him again, after, like, not talking to him in probably over 10 years. So from that group project, I suddenly had three friends to hang out with on the breaks and on lunch and everything, which was really, really nice. It, like, it flipped the experience on its head compared to how it used to be, which was me just browsing Twitter and Reddit, just sitting there waiting, pretty much me waiting from 9 to 3 to then go home again. But now I actually like enjoyed being there, because now I had people to actually hang out with. 
So time flew past really, really quickly, and the three months were up in the blink of an eye, pretty much. Uh, the girl, she quit a little bit earlier than the three months, and the guy that I used to go in school with, he also quit, but I got an extended period uh, of another three months, so I was gonna go six months instead of three. The third guy of the group also got an extended period, so I had one guy to like hang out with, which was pretty nice. Um, but all of a sudden he like stopped coming, he stopped showing up, so I thought like, hmm, maybe I need new friends, you know? I can't like rely on this guy alone. So me being like a very very socially awkward and anxious guy, I really pushed myself out of my comfort zone to get to know new people, which was a really interesting thing for me to do because I've never really done that before. Uh, not in a very very long time at least and luckily like I I got a friend from the gym class that we had due to us both getting like rope burns <laughs> so we had like a point to relate and talk about uh, from him I got another friend and another friend and another friend and suddenly I went from one friend to like six seven friends which again was really really cool like I learned something about myself that I didn't really know because I, I'm, I'm so like, not confident in myself and holding social conversations and stuff. I didn't really know that I really, really like getting to meet and uh, know people. I love like hearing their backstories and where they came from and what they've been through and stuff. Um, but yeah, I got these six friends and then one day we had like an outdoors sports day and. Uh, it was like a really really nice day, like 25 degrees celsius outside in June. And uh, I remember we were playing this game called Cub, which I think is a more um, northern Europe game. But I might be completely wrong about that. The game is pretty much each team stands about 7 to 10 meters apart from one another. In front of them they have five like wooden pillars uh, stood in a line. And uh, one team starts with five throwing sticks, and they have to underhand throw the sticks and try and hit the pillars. Uh, and then the other team does the same to you, and you do that back and forth until you take down all the pillars. And then when you've done that, there's a king in the middle that you have to you have to take him down by throwing the sticks in between your legs backwards. But if you take him down before you take down all the pillars, then you lose the game. And we were playing this uh, during that day, and we got quite a crowd going. And when we won, obviously because of me, I'm a pro at this, I kind of interacted with the audience and the people to try and get them into the game because they were obviously interested due to them standing there and looking. And we really got this like friendly competition going, which was so fucking nice and I felt so confident about myself and like I really felt like how I used to be back in like sixth grade uh, because I was really like confident and secure about myself back then but due to some events happening I my life kind of did a 180 and I became very drawn back and silent and not confident um but yeah, this day made it so that I went from like 6 to 7 friends to pretty much knowing everybody in the course. Because there were like 4, four to 3 cl different classes going at the same time. So that's a lot of fucking people that I got to know like by the snap of my fingers, you know. Um, but we're in June right now, so that means my 6 months are already up, you know. Time fucking flew like a rocket. It was really, it, it went by really quickly. Uh... And it was a lot of fun, I got to know so many like interesting people, I got to hear so many interesting stories and I really got out of my comfort zone and I felt so confident and happy about myself. Um, but the course itself, with it being like inspiring and trying to push you onto the next step, that really didn't like happen at all. I was pretty much still on step one. Um, but yeah, I th still don't think it was a useless course due to me learning so much about myself and other people. June passes, uh, July, pretty much nothing happens during those months. Um, 
In October, I hit up the uh, organization called Arbetsförmedlingen, which is the organization that holds the inspiration course, and they pretty much like try to help you get jobs and stuff. Uh, I hit them up, I book a meeting, and uh, and the woman that I talked to, she really recommended me to like meet the psychiatrist that works there, uh, which I did. I booked a meeting, and holy fuck, what a pro in her field, man! Like. Oh my goodness, she she really like chipped away at me with all of her questions, her like silence, her looks and whatever we were talking about. Because I've, I'm have i a very emotional guy, which has led to me really practicing on holding back my emotions, which I think I'm pretty decent at. Uh, but she really like chipped away at me slowly but surely, and she fucking broke me down dude, like I was ugly crying dude, like holy shit. But she recommended me to go and actually see a person that works with like depression and stuff. I don't know what they're called. And she, because I was so happy in June, because I got to meet so many new people and I was so like confident and social, uh, she recommended me to start a work study, uh, which is pretty much you practice working, uh, get like some routines in, get to meet people and get yourself out there, you know? Because I was meeting this, uh, oh, I don't know what they're called, the uh, people that work with, like, depression and stuff, the people you talk to, um, when I was there, she, like, suspected me to have social anxiety, so we did a test on that, where there were around 14 to 12 questions, and you had to answer in two columns, a score from 0 to 3. One of the questions was, like, eating in a public place. And then the first column had like an answer which was I feel anxious or bad about. So then you fill in a score 0 to 3. And then the other column was I avoid. And then you do the same with filling in 0 to 3. So I filled in the entire thing and she then took the paper. uh, She counted together all of the scores that I given out. And if you get a total score of 30, that's when they start like suspecting you have social anxiety and I got a score of 57 so I'm gonna start uh, next year I'm gonna start a program to try and reduce my social anxiety and stuff try and like prevent it but I'm pretty sure it will never fully disappear but I can like decrease its effect on me you know but yeah that's pretty much my personal year. I tried to go through it as fast as I could. I recorded this three times already uh, and all the other times it's been like half an hour long and I see right now I'm recording at 20 minutes but this is gonna be a cut down version so. Uh, But yeah I think that's pretty much my personal year. Uh, I'm ending it on my work studies. I'm uh, gonna start the uh, program to reduce my social anxiety in 2020 and yeah i'm looking forward to what the next year has in store moving on to the online side of things which is my twitch channel and this youtube channel um starting on the youtube side of things i've been actively uploading pretty much all year i think uh more recently i've uploaded pretty much every week which i'm really really proud of Uh, Because like sometime last year I pretty much tried to upload once a month But I've increased that to try and upload once a week Uh, But right now I can't because I don't have any fucking internet But yeah, I've been able to keep up the weekly uploads pretty much only due to the Breath of the Wild series Uh, And without it, I don't think I would have been able to upload each week Uh, Because then I would have to actually go out there and record something. Which I pretty much haven't done since the Little Night... No, not Little Nightmares. Since I had in time. The had in time finale. Then I actually like recorded the first half of the level pretty much. And right now, because I don't have any internet, as I said earlier, I've been actively working on videos in the background while I've been offline. And uh, I have a few videos lined up for 2020. Uh, like I have a, I have Breath of the Wild 9, which will come after this. After that, I have a Smash video ready. And then I think another Breath of the Wild part. And then I'll finally make a Mario Odyssey highlight. Which moves us 
nicely along to the Twitch side of things, where I've been streaming pretty much relatively actively all year. So I started streaming on Twitch again around the end of last year, uh, where I played the Tales of the Borderlands for the first time. Uh, my friends, they... I think... One of my friends gave it to me like one Christmas a few years back and I finally decided to play it so I decided to share my experience with them as well uh, which was really fun. I then moved on to a little bit of random games, um, played a little bit of Rainbow Six Siege, played a little bit of yeah I played Crash as well. I made a one highlight video which performed really well here on YouTube which I'm happy about. And then I played Mario Odyssey, and that's kind of where my Twitch channel took off a bit. Like, it kind of exploded, but not in a nuclear bomb way. It's more like a risky fart way, um, where where I went from around 3 to 4 viewers to fucking like 16 viewers without a host. Which was really, really cool, and I could really feel my old stage fright bubbling up inside me, but... It kind of felt good, you know, having a lot of people to chat with and being really like... It kind of reminded me of the feeling that I got in June when I was like... I was really like social and talking to a lot of people. Uh, but this was back in like February, I think. Because uh, that's where I streamed really, really actively. Uh, I streamed about, I think, around like 20, 23 days out of the month. Which is pretty impressive in my opinion. Uh, I got affiliate from there as well. Which means that you can subscribe to my Twitch channel. Where you pretty much pay to get my shitty little emote. And you know, be a little bit more prestigious on my channel uh, while I stream. But as I was streaming Mario Odyssey, I meant to actually do a series much like the Breath of the Wild series right now. Uh, where I was supposed to do like different highlight videos. But... They sadly didn't turn out the way I wanted, and they were pretty terrible. Uh, so I decided to never upload them and scrap that whole project. Uh, but I did play through the entire game, and the highlight video that I'll make on Mario Odyssey is about the two secret levels, or the dark and darker side of the moon. When I was done with Mario Odyssey, some people actually like stuck around, which was really, really like fun to see uh, people like tuned into my random stream where I I played like Celeste twice and I played this game two times and then I played this once and my streaming schedule went from like 20 days in February to like once a month <laughs> because I didn't really have a game to play uh, I then played Subnautica very actively uh, but then I got kind of stuck in that game and I slowly dropped that and lost my interest uh, but I'll probably pick that up again sometime. And then someday in the summer, uh, my friend offered me Breath of the Wild for a hundred Swedish crowns. That game cost like five to six hundred Swedish crowns, which was really nice. Thank you. Uh, and I started streaming that as well. Uh, which has then led to the Breath of the Wild series here on YouTube. Which has carried me really hard in uploading pretty much weekly. Um... And from there I also got some regulars, like people who actually tune into stream and I gotta give a shout out to the people who have actually stuck around from stream, uh, which is Pixcast. Not so much anymore though, but he stuck with me throughout the entirety of Mario Odyssey. I really appreciate that, my man. A7Mando, you were my first, like, random person who subscribed to my channel and you have been on my stream pretty actively as well, so I really appreciate you. Gladiator, you joined in Mario Odyssey and you've actually stuck around and said hello and chatted a little bit with me, so thank you for sticking around. And recently Official Cruz, uh, who has stuck around pretty much throughout all of Breath of the Wild, which has been really nice to see and I've seen your comments on YouTube. Hello. <laughs> thank you for being here as well. And lastly, I just want to say that here on YouTube, I feel like I've really been refreshed. Uh, I, it feels like a new fire has lit up inside of me. Uh, because I've been really, really, like, burnt out and exhausted on YouTube. At one point, I even, like, 
thought about quitting and stopping entirely. It was quite close actually. Um, but yeah, being like refreshed and having this new energy, it, it feels really, really good to like, I'm having fun making videos again, I'm having fun like editing and I'm, I'm having a good time. Uh, it's, it's really, really nice after like a year plus of just like, oh, I need to edit this thing, oh, I need to get a video out, you know? So yeah, I'm looking forward to the year. I'm gonna keep uploading videos, I'm gonna keep making videos and just having fun with it, you know? Upload what I want, upload what I feel is good, and hopefully you look forward to that as well. Um, but I think that's pretty much it for this. Uh, it's already quite long, I've talked for over half an hour, <laughs> so I'm gonna keep making videos, I'm gonna keep streaming throughout 2020, and uh, hopefully you'll be there to watch it. But I'm gonna end it here. If you watched or listened through it all, I really appreciate that. I'd love to hear what your 2020 goals are or how your 2019 has been. Um, but that's everything for this video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Never fade away.